Hi everyone, Great Power 60 here. So I'm just going to give you a quick update. I'm still working. <laughs> I have got such a messy desk. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, boo everywhere. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've been working on this smaller journal and it's actually becoming quite thick with I was going to call it an ephemera folder. It's kind of that, but it's kind of a one one signature journal. And uh, I've been working on all kinds of stuff, making bats, making boo. Anyway, I'll let you see what I've done so far. Well, let me check my... Okay, I think you can see everything. Good. Okay. <laughs> I had to stand up. So here I have a uh, tuck spot. I left the trick or treat um, paper clip there. I've added a little bat here from one of my stickers. These um, you've already seen in a previous video. I've put that there. Um, I added the word boo. And I just added a little powder around it to kind of because it was so black. Um, I've added a little pocket here to put things in. These um, spiders and bats. These, I have a die for that. I didn't even know I had. It, it was with the boo. And the boo had two pieces, a background and a front. So, yeah. So I did that. I added the um, cluster. I didn't finish the cluster. I just added it uh, and left it as a tuck spot. So I've only glued it down in two spots, or yeah, two sides here. And this was an experiment I wanted to try. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's supposed to be one of those um, things that are ripped open and so you could see unfortunately I would have liked to have had uh, double-sided um, paper it was double-sided but it was the same thing on both sides what I should have done was find a sheet that had two different patterns then you'd be able to see this better now the other option I could do and I was thinking of doing is coming along with some uh, paint uh, and just rubbing it here so that it looks more defined. I could probably, uh, if I could find it, yeah. Um, I could probably define it more with my white um, pen here. I could probably do that maybe you know give it more of a definition because there's so much color but um so i put this cat down and then i cut a piece of square paper and then i cut it into sixes i'm sure two four six i guess eight um and then just rolled them over so they look like it's been ripped open because they can still i flatten them so that you can open it but I thought that was a really cool idea to um, focus on a little you know picture that you want to put in the middle of that this was a total experiment um, a paper clip here I had this there's two sides to it I just folded it in half um, these were the bottom parts of some labels so I just put them on there. I added a little bit of ghost, the ghost ribbon that I purchased at the dollar store on here. I added my um, envelope, I, when you flip it over. I was actually thinking that I would add a feather on here because of the bird, but anyway. And this opens and there's just a tuck spot here. I just put that in there for now. 
Um, I added a bat here that it, one of my cut apart, uh, cutouts, my die cuts. And here's another pocket that I put in and I just shoved that in there for now. And still a lot of work. Um, I put these in here. Now this is actually glued on, it was only supposed to be glued on two sides. I glued it on three sides. So um, these are little post-it notes. So I just kind of tucked it in there and pushed it down and it'll stay. Okay. The middle, I haven't touched yet because I've got other ideas. I may... I made this absolutely silly uh, a belly band with some stickers that I had. And with my die, the, the die, two dies that I have for the spider and the um, bat, I cut them out in white to put on here. I added a little white with my gel pen around the outside and left those there. And then I just took one of these and added it in there just to show you it's a belly band I can put more tags and things in there I still got work to do but I did a little stitching here but it didn't work out quite the way I wanted so I glued down the uh, pages the the string um, these are little corner tuck spots with all kinds of Halloween words, and I added our little monster here. Can you see this? Good, okay, okay. And then I took the opposite and I put it up here. Again, this is another tuck spot, corner tuck, corner tuck. Flip that, I haven't done anything here or here. I've still got things I'm, I'm thinking about, but um, there's still quite a bit to do. I still have lots of junk on my desk. This is the back. I put another, I added this, I had this, uh, I don't know where I got it, but anyway, um, but I left him kind of, uh, open a little bit. So if I wanted to tuck something in there, I could, <laughs> um, added this little monster with that was part of the doodle bug. And then I just added that in there and that is it. And that's what I've done so far. It's amazing how long it takes me to do things um, when I have ideas on what I wanna see, what I wanna try. This was something I wanted to really try. I thought this was kind of cool. Um, but like I said, it would have been better if this had been a different pattern so that it actually looks, I may even, I wonder if I can, I don't know. I don't think that's going to work. I think I'm going to need some paint here. So that might be something I'll work on tonight and then let it dry. So that is my little, um, so far I'm playing. I'm just having fun with it. I'm tucking all kinds of things that I've made in it. I have more things to do, more things to make. These are the little um, post-it notes that I had. Gosh, I don't know when. I got it at Dollarama. They came like that. Sticky notes, Halloween sticky notes. These would have been good pictures to use too. Yeah, so that's it for me for today. I just wanted to share that. Um, that I'm making a little progress with it. Slow but sure, um, I'm trying different things. I'll let you see this later when I think I'm gonna paint these uh, a brown or something um, so that it stands out and looks like uh, it's ripped, it's ripped open. <laughs> I forget what they call it, but anyway. So that is it for me for today. Thanks for joining me. Uh, on my continuing saga of trying to come up with some fun um, journaling uh, pages. Now, I still would like to be able to uh, somehow include uh, paper that you can write like this. You could, you know, you can't write on the back of that. Well, so much for that idea. Yeah. 
Okay, thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this. I'm, I'm, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. And you know what? That's all that matters is that you have fun with what you're doing. With all of this Halloween stuff, I'm going to have to come up with more. Oh, I've got these two I could be using. I've got these star. Let me see if I can find. Eh, let's just put the lady in here. Here, lady. I've got these um, star paper clips. I got stars and clouds and I think puppy dogs. I think that's what's in. Oop, I got hearts. But for Halloween, but there is a puppy dog. Hmm. Okay, guys, that's it for me. Thanks for joining me. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and uh, help the YouTube algorithm um, pick me up. So that more people can vi video can video can view my videos. Well, thanks for joining me. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.